Okay, in this video, I will show you that both the inverse hyperbolic tangent and inverse hyperbolic cotangent, they have the same looking derivative, namely 1 over 1 minus x squared, but you are going to see that they are not off by a constant. So this is what we are going to do. We are going to first write uh, expressions for inverse hyperbolic tangent in terms of natural log, and then we'll do the same right here as well. And then we'll differentiate the natural log versions of these two functions, and then we'll go from here. So here we go. Y equals the inverse hyperbolic tangent of x. We can just apply the original version first. So we get the original hyperbolic tangent of y that's equal to x. From here, we can utilize the exponential definition, e to the whatever, right? This is the same as saying sinh over cosh, and then you can look that up. But I will tell you guys this right here. It's going to be e to the y minus e to the negative y over e to the y plus e to the negative y, right? For the hyperbolic tangent. Oh, and then this is equal to x. And remember, y is the inverse hyperbolic tangent. And from here, I want to isolate the y so that I will end up with a different looking expression. And that expression will be in terms of natural log. We know how to handle that much better. OK, so here we go. Let's do more algebra to isolate the y. Perhaps we can clear the negative exponent. To do so, let's multiply the top and bottom by e to the positive y on the top. This times this, we add the exponents, we get e to the 2y, and then minus this times that, the exponent will be 0, so we get 1 over this times this, e to the 2y, this times that, it's plus 1, and this is still equal to x. Next, we multiply this on both sides, we get e to the 2y minus 1 equals, I will have x times this, right? So be sure to distribute x. I get x times this, which is x e to the 2y, and then x times that, which is plus x, like this. And then I will just move this to the other side because this guy also has the e to the 2y term. So let me move to the other side. Both terms have e to the 2y, so let's factor that out. I get e to the 2y in the front, and then this was 1. x on the other side becomes minus x, like this. And then this is equal to Bring the negative one to the other side, I get 1 plus x. And then divide this on both sides, we get e to the 2y equals 1 plus x over 1 minus x. Now, to get y by itself, as I told you earlier, we have to use natural log. We are using natural log right here. This is good. Cancel these guys out. Well, this is 2 times y equals to this. In the meantime, we can also divide both sides by 2. So we get y equals 1 half natural log of 1 plus x over 1 minus x, like this. Well, y is what? y is this guy. So let me just come back here. The inverse hyperbolic tangent of x is nothing but just 1 half natural log of 1, minus, 1 plus x on the top over 1 minus x on the bottom, like this. Right? So that's another look of the inverse hyperbolic tangent. Now, let's do this guy. And let's speed up a little bit right here. Right here, let's take the original hyperbolic cotangent on both sides. We have this of y is equal to x. And of course, this is just actually the reciprocal of that. So we get e to the y plus e to the negative y over e to the y minus e to the negative y. And this is equal to x. And then same thing. Let's multiply the top and bottom by e to the positive y here. So you can be happy. This is going to be e to the 2y plus 1 over e to the 2y minus 1 equals x. Multiply both sides by this guy, so we get e to the 2y plus 1 equals x times this, which is x times e to the 2y, and then minus x. And then bring this to the other side, so we get e to the 2y factor that out, and then 1 minus x. And then bring this to the other side, it becomes negative 1. And then we have the negative x like that. So be really careful right here now. Divide this on both sides. So we get e to the 2y equals, on the top, I have this over the 1 minus x, right? So this right here, in fact, this is what we are going to do. I'm going to factor out a negative. 
like this, and then this part is going to be 1 plus x. Bring the negative down here, so I get 1 plus x on the top over negative parentheses 1 minus x. And here is what we're going to do. We get e to the 2y, the dong 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 is like the scary movie part. No, it's not scary at all. On the top, what I will do is, I will switch the water. I will put this down as x plus 1, and that's legitimate. You're just adding. Now, in the denominator here, negative 1 plus x, let's put the x down first. So we have x minus 1. So, as you can see, the order is different now. Okay, the order is different now, right? And then, of course, take the natural log on both sides. And then divide by 2 on both sides. In this case, y equals 1 half natural log of x plus 1 over x minus 1. We don't have any absolute value right here. We, we didn't do anything with integration, so you don't put the absolute value around the natural log. This is what we need, okay? This is an expression for this guy, so let's put it down. The inverse hyperbolic cotangent is equal to 1 half natural log of x goes first now, x plus 1 over x minus 1. So, let's see. We got the expressions in terms of natural log already. Here, we are going to be differentiating uh, the, both of the, these two functions. This right here, I will put this right here, which is going to be 1 half. And I will actually split it because it's easier for differentiation purpose. So I get ln of 1 plus x, and then don't forget we minus, and then we have the 1 half natural log of 1 minus x like this. Oh, I made it. Look at that. Cool. Let's see. Okay. All right, so let's see. 1 half in the front, and then differentiate this guy, I get 1 over 1 plus x, and I have the minus here, and I still have the 1 half. Differentiating ln of 1 minus x is 1 over 1 minus x, but don't forget the chain rule. The chain rule says we have to differentiate the inside and then multiply right, the derivative inside, which is going to be negative 1, so this turns out to be a plus. Well, well, do a little bit of algebra right here. You can just get a common denominator, right? So you need the 1 minus x here, 1 minus x here, and you need the 1 plus x here, and you need the 1 plus x here. Both have 1 half, so I'll just put on 1 half, and then the denominator is going to be this times that, which is 1 minus x squared. And on the top, you pretty much have 1 minus x plus 1 plus x, and 1 plus 1 is 2. Yes, 1 plus 1 is 2. Negative x plus x is 0, so you have 2 on the top right here. And the good thing is, this guy's cancel out, and you will see, I actually have enough space, this is amazing. I get the derivative to be this, 1 over 1 minus x squared. Success. Alright, so this is the derivative of the inverse hyperbolic tangent. And now, I have so much space right here. <laughs> Let's see, uh, I will differentiate this guy as well. I will just put down the 1 half first, and then I will put on the top, which is natural log of x plus 1, and then minus. 1 half, and then we have the, you could have factor out the 1 half that will do in your front, but it's just algebra, so up to you. And then x minus 1, like this. Okay, so, differentiate this, I get 1 half, and then this is going to be 1 over x plus 1, minus, this is going to give me 1 half times 1 over x minus 1. But this time, when you differentiate the inside, still 1. So this is just how it is. Now, I'm going to do the same thing. This time, we get a common denominator, which is x minus 1 here, and then I need to multiply the x plus 1 here, right? So let's see if this is the general or not. I get both to be 1 half, so let's just put on 1 half first. The denominator is going to be x squared minus 1, like this. On the top, though, this is x minus x, so that's 0, right? Don't forget we have a minus in between now. So it's x minus x is 0, and then we have negative 1 minus 1. So in fact, I get negative 2 in this situation, right? Negative 1 minus 1. Now, cancel this out, but I get 
negative 1 over x squared minus 1. And do the same trick, pretty much. You put this negative down below, so you get 1 over negative parentheses x squared minus 1, and you will have some space. This is 1 over, put this down first, you get 1 minus x squared. Look at that. So, you see, the derivative of inverse hyperbolic tangent is 1 over 1 minus x squared, and the derivative of inverse hyperbolic cotangent is also 1 over 1 minus x squared. But if you just look at the graph of this and that, they are totally different. It's not just a matter of by a constant. So what's the matter? Domain, right? You always should always pay attention to the domain. Look at this. Natural log in the real world cannot have negative value or cannot have zero, right? So I can see, as you can see, x cannot be one or negative one because otherwise you end up with zero inside of the natural log. That's not good. But in this situation, x cannot be bigger than one because if x is at seventeen, one minus seventeen, you get a negative number already, and then all things negative. That's bad. The domain right here, this is only good, I'll just put this down, if x is in between of x and x is in between of negative 1 and 1. Okay? So this right here is what you have to pay attention to. On the other hand, when you have x goes first like this, x minus 1, this right here is good if x is less than negative 1, because imagine if x is like negative 17. On the top you get negative, but on the bottom you also get negative. By the order of operation, you do the inside first, you end up with positive first. Right? You end up with positive first, and then you this is the gentleman. Or I should also put an or the other situation is x is greater than one. So pay attention to the domain. Two functions, they have the same derivatives, but they are not off by a constant because they have different domains. So I think this is super cool. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And if you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. And if you guys are studying for your Cal 2 final, or maybe Cal 4 final, best of luck. Anyway, as always, that's it.